Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Fortress Craft Evolved. So, uh, looks like we're going to be raided over here. Uh, just grabbing the loot like always. So, uh, long story short, I've moved my ore thief and finally using it. Basically, you jump on here and it sucks out all your uh, inventory, which apparently... Do I actually have more inventory in here? No. I think that's a bug. Weird. Or maybe, oh, maybe when I looked at the UI, it increased since then. Okay, that's probably what it was. Anyways, I have power cells here, and they go down, I think, three deep? Yeah. I thought I would do that just so it kind of, it uses quite a bit of power, so when I want to use it up, I kind of want to just boom, boom kind of thing, rather than be like, eh, you know, slowly taking it out of my inventory. Though when I may have can't, it's not a big deal. I've increased my... Uh, copper and tin system over here. Basically, I wanted to add a bigger buffer here just so I can easily get to it. And eh, why not, right? It's kind of fun. And, uh, yeah, so the ore thief is connected. Uh, basically, I have these surrounded all sides except the one. Uh, and uh, the way it works is, you know, basically these are all add only. I don't think it would matter, though. I wonder if they would screw up hopper to hopper. I'm not even sure, to be honest. I wonder if that's actually happening at all. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Uh, so they're, they're, they're spitting out the ores, and they, of course, go in here. I've upgraded our actual uh, furnace here, finally. I went for the MK2 induction, so it's a 300%, uh, but uses a lot more power. I've had this running nonstop. I don't think I've had power issues, because it has a hub power level, but... As far as I know, it, it keeps up there anyway, so I haven't had any issues or known to see any issues, so I'm not worried about that. And so there you go. Everything's working. This little thing that I don't really pay attention to ever. So we finally got gold and titanium going. Now we need to get nickel. Now nickel is actually something we have, of course. We've been working on that, and uh, we'll have to just go below for that. And uh, I hopefully have this better set up now. So what I'm hoping to do... I don't know what just happened there, by the way. Oh, crap. Ow. Well, that didn't work because I did it too soon, I guess. But uh, it actually saved my ass anyway, so that's awesome. Uh, so this is that new setup I was telling you about before that I wanted to do. And uh, it kind of works. So basically, it's on both sides. I should do it a little further up as well. It looks like I have a spot, but... One, two, three... One, two, three, four. Maybe like that. We'll see. Anyways, you get the idea. And it saves my butt anyway, so I don't die on the way down or usually take too much damage, though I kind of failed there. And then uh, we have the laser set up here. It's just a basic laser going over here. I decided not to do the conveyors yet. Uh, at the time, I didn't have enough uh, turrets anyways. I just had the one or two turrets on me. So I just uh, placed one over there. But uh, I decided I'll just buffer it and walk it. It's not a big deal for now. And then eventually, I will turret it up and get some more room. And then, of course, if we go down here, you can see that it uh, looks like they're actually already full, which is awesome. So we'll go through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So 1,000 ore. So you get 500 ingots, I guess, ish out of that. Or no, I don't think the numbers are actually 1 to 1 for some reason. Maybe they are? I don't know. Or not 1 to 1, 2 to 1. Sometimes it doesn't feel like it's 2 to 1, but maybe it is. Maybe I'm just weird and I'm not used to storing the ore and then processing it somewhere else. So maybe I'm just, it feels weird just to get 1,000 ore just like that. It just seems really odd to me. Okay, so we're going to try to get up top. Uh, you can get up there. I've done it before. Uh, I'm not always good at it, but uh, let's see if we can do it, shall we? We failed already. There we go. I actually want to get up further, but it's a little harder, but I'm going to attempt to anyways. I'm going to go like this instead. Because this is a one-shotter, right? So I'm hoping what I can do is... There we go. And then you go on this guy, and there you go. And then you're safe, right? So this is a much faster way of getting up. 
And it seems safer to get down. At least I did it one try there, so... I think the whole slingshotting idea kind of uh, is a great way to get a little safer, hopefully, so... And there we go. Ta-da! Back home. And then before we continue over here, we'll go and grab ourselves some ore. Or not ore, sorry, uh, these guys. Look at all the, the loot. And then the ore thief, let's see, the ore thief is... Uh, yeah, so two, four, four, nine. So it should say three, four, four, nine, basically. Hopefully the inventories don't fill up, but we'll see. And you can see those draining r quite a bit. You can hear them going down and down and down. But at least it should be enough power to do it all. Oh, so... Oh, there you go. We got them all. Oh, no. Oh, the chests are full. <laughs> well, there you go. That's even better. I like that. It's like, hey, it's not working, but here it was working. It was just the, uh, the inventory has got full. So there we go. We finally have nickel, titanium, and gold. So we got three new uh, ore materials, which is awesome and uh, will be useful over time. And ooh, got a little leg spike there. So I think uh, what we're going to do is uh, 84 attacks. How is this attack thing going right now anyways? Uh, we've only lost eight times, so it hasn't been lost for a very long time now, which is awesome. Uh, base rating is apparently 371 right now. We're probably running a lot of power and stuff, so it's kind of cranked up with all the ores and miners going. Uh, that would make sense. Uh, let's just see. Is there... Oops, I did not mean to do that. Cool. The turrets do not go past the line, so... This guy won't get damaged till he's literally... That's awesome. I was just wondering about that, you know, just am I missing any loot or anything? Did that guy... Did one get that close, though? Interesting. Huh. Either way, this regenerates anyways once it get hit, gets hit once or twice anyways, so it's not, it's not the huge deal. Okay, so let's go ahead. And one of the quests that we were going to do, which we never got around... By the way, let's just... I don't think there's any new research. Nope. Uh, one of the quests we wanted to do, which we never got around to because we had, uh, issues because I was an idiot and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to apply the idiot very strongly there was the, uh, one quest that kept spamming. Does it still say that induction charger? Yes. We were going to build an induction charger, but then I was like, oh, I can't do that because I don't have a certain material and it was these things and I couldn't figure out when I built the the actual chargers why well, i can build the mk2 booster and then the names are off and i was a complete idiot basically so yeah that happened but now we can easily build it and you need 25 we have 25 there you got five of those so basically all we have to do is go over here and we just go one two three four five and that should be five of them in there and we should be able to build the induction charger. Now, I don't know if I'll ever really bother with the induction charger, but it was more like, ah, I will do it for now just because it wants us to do it. I feel like the developer put it there because he's like, no one ever makes it, so he really wanted people to make it. So might as well make it, you know, since he's really, really assisting that we make it. Uh, let's just put it over here for now. I, I don't, like I said, I don't know if I'll ever bother with it, but uh, one, two, three, four... I guess we go five, and then two, three, four, five. You gotta be kidding me. Oh. Uh. I'll hold shift to break this. I was like, uh, you gotta be kidding me. And then I realized it just derped up. There you go. So it holds some power, basic power. And it's an induction charger, so the idea is you put all your machines on here instead. Or, for example, you could probably put this on here and it would charge it, right? So, uh, let's for fun go like this. And then we go like this. This would put power into the induction charger over time. And then it would go over to here, and basically it would charge this. Oh, actually, it looks like because it's a power storage, it might be... Interesting. I think it might be derping it up. 
Weird. Huh. It might or not work quite like that. Hmm. I'm actually a wee bit confused. It might need to be charged another way. Like maybe, oh, you know what it is? Probably, yeah, it does probably have to be charged another way, but it's probably a uh, direct charge. Like you can't do uh, what I'm doing right now. So for example, you probably have to do this to charge it. It probably can't have a, be a battery. Rather, it has to have direct power to it, I'm assuming. No? Oh yeah, the power's going to that. Yeah, that's what it was. Because it would be trying to induction charge everything touching it, basically, I guess. So I guess the induction charge is on the side as well. Interesting. Uh, to me, this has not got a lot of need or use right now, but uh, cute, I guess? Could be a very large blue battery, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure later on there there's reasons and needs for it for tight areas and things like that. It's just to me, I just like the way we have things right now. I don't know. It just it seems easier. Like to me, it seems easier to have 25 blue batteries or 25 green batteries than an induction charger. So let's maybe look see if there's anything else about the induction charger that makes it more appealing that we're just not realizing. Uh, provides a uh, power routing over a five by five area. Great for missile batteries, uh, booster chargers, and resin refinery setups. I see. I am even more confused by that. See, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's something we got to learn and understand over time. It's just like we're just we just don't need it now. But later on, you know, it might be a a blessing kind of thing. But we'll see. So I finally got nickel in my inventory, which is awesome. That's the first time. What does everything want? Extract crystal ore. Uh, locate hardened resin. Ooh, that one's going to be more annoying because that's underground. Uh, extract crystal ore. Okay, so uh, let's see. Is there anything we wanted to build? Oh, like we wanted to build a suit light over time. Do we have? Yes, we do. So right now, if we do this and uh, tell the bot to go away from us... Uh, Okay, so if we go like this, right, and we hit I, or sorry, L, you can see this takes a lot of power. Oh, wait, we made the new light, though, so it shouldn't be taking as much. Still seems to use a lot of power. Battery use rate, unfortunately, does not show up when you do the light thing, so, huh. Honestly, it still seems to use a lot of power. Maybe it's not working, or maybe that's just how it is. I always wanted to use like the really bright light and stuff like that, but it just still doesn't seem worth it. Unless you can get a better version of that later on, then sure, I'll be happy. You know, like really badass one later, which will really clean it up. But at this point, it does not feel worth it in any way. That's just how I feel. It might be later on. Um, might be really good. It's just personally, that's how I feel. Okay, so uh, spider bot blaster... Don't care about you right now, spider bot ch core charger. So infuse uh, lithium coils with energy feeds the spider bot. Upgrade the recharger dock via storage hopper. So basically, uh, this is how you create the uh, spider bot core charger, and you have to feed them the lithium ones. And it doesn't seem really worth it, but we're here to have fun, aren't we? So. Let's go ahead and uh, create that. Wait, what, what was I? Oh yeah, the servo motor. I think that's actually down, not up. Wasn't it? Maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, there it is, servo motor. And then we'll go back up. And... Uh, Uh, feed into the spider bot upgrade and recharge dock via storage hopper. So this is via a storage hopper. So my assumption is that you don't put this directly to it. Rather, um, you put it here, for example. Uh, yeah, we'll do it here. You put it here 
And then you have, uh, I don't think these matter, even though they do have like a directional area, like the other chargers, they seem to not actually work properly. So this is the, uh, oh, how would you do that anyways? I think you would have to space it actually, wouldn't you? Let's see. So it comes out of here and then you'd put it here. Yeah. Okay. So this one would be add only. This would be uh, remove only. I don't know if it'll have feedback or anything like that. So that's why we're building it. So it has feedback tolerance. And basically you would use the lithium coils and that's a whole setup on its own basically to produce those if you want. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do them. Uh, so the lithium coils, we have copper uh, coils, of course, which are uh, extruder plant and coil plant. Extruder plant and coil plant. So let's get rid of you. Uh, we have one of these. Extrusion plant? No. Maybe we don't have what we want. So, oh, stamper. Oh, no, no. Extrusion plant is one of them, I guess. Bars to wires and then coiler plant. Okay, so we only need a coiler. Coiler. I'm gonna have to make a bunch of these anyways later because of the other stuff, but yeah, we'll do that later. Okay. Coiler plant. Might as well just do it right here, why not? So we'll put uh remove only. We'll just do how are we gonna do this? Oh these these don't add or remove, these actually move fluidly, right? So we'll put this here, that there, okay. And then there you go. So then you can just go ahead and add your lithium by hand for now and uh, do your thing. And then it'll slowly work its way. That's if it's all set up correctly, I have no clue. Might not even be able to go sideways, but if it's broken like the other thing, it doesn't, it doesn't act like a conveyor system at all, so. Oh, I think it's doing something. There it is. Oh, it looked cool. Oh, there's the energy. So it has 150,000 and it does 2,500 each time. So it uses quite a bit of power. We'll, in fact, probably run out of power over time, but I'd rather not give it too much power to begin with. So I'll go with the amount it gives it right now, I guess. Though if we get attacked, it's going to hurt, but uh, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> like this, that's the last thing you want, right? Is to get the attack thing. Maybe I should go and put you there. I'll just give it another one anyways. Just to help it a bit. Don't know if it's fast enough still, but I just like, why not? Kind of fun. Oh, Desire's 33? Okay, we have enough then. It should be going up. I think. Anyways, there you go. Uh, he's getting all this stuff. Now, there was the gun upgrade. I have never built that one either. Let's see what happens with that. I'm assuming he has no weapons at all right now. So, of course, if you want him to fight, you're going to have to give him weapons. So, let's see what that's all about. Uh, I guess you just type spider, right? Spider bot uh, blaster. Ooh, you need a couple turrets. Rapid fire, uh, low slung energy based weapons, ideal for small and medium targets. Okay. So let's make a battery here. Uh, battery, or no, sorry, turrets. Crappy turrets. Uh, turret, there you go. Crafting, crafting. One, two, three. Cause that would fix that. And then blaster, craft. Uh, we'll provide small amount of fire against f uh, fast moving small targets, but beware of to, lo uh, to loose topsoil and snow. Be sure you're prepared 
for war torn zone before fitting this bad boy. Uh Oh You just put it in a hopper and it should arm it. So if we put this in here and drop this baby in here. Oh, is it actually leaving? Holy crap, he's actually going out to fight, I think. So he will cause some loose dirt and stuff, but... Holy crap. He's a badass. Okay, he kind of sucks for one reason. He's probably going to use a lot of energy doing this. <laughs> oh, does it say how much energy he is? Okay, let's see. 52,000 right now. He walks up to the target, so uh, there's two downsides to this. One, oh, he uses very little energy. Okay, we'll let him do its thing. I mean, he will use a lot in the end, but whatever. Uh, there's two issues with this. One, we're not going to get loot anymore because, uh, yeah, he's gone. And uh, so there goes the loot. He'll just kill them on the way. And the other issue would be a uh, simple of... Um, uh, he he kind of goes on his own, so you lose the power. Yeah, whatever. I don't think the power is actually a big deal. It might be even less, to be honest. I don't know. I kind of like the idea. So that's cool. We got a... Uh, and he's badass. He's definitely a badass. <laughs> you can see everything in his wake kind of... Oh yeah, he's just murdering everything. He literally just goes towards them and kills everything. Ooh. And then again, we saw tons of organic rock underground now, so... Yeah, he's kind of cute. He's badass. Ooh, badass spider bot. Okay, um... Oh god. I think I saw a worm or something when I was flying like that. So that's awesome. We got that down now. Uh, yeah, so it, it seems to be the same here. So I wanted to show you on these chargers here. Like I told you the order these go in, right? But you can see the Kaveris actually flipped the other way. But it actually does not matter. Um, it only goes... It doesn't seem to have an actual effect on that, which kind of sucks. Because I think that's more of a bug than anything. But yeah, whatever. It works, right? So... Well, let's see what we're up to now. We're probably almost done for this episode. Uh, I think right now, a lot of it's research-based now. We kind of got to go through the research. Uh, we don't have a better ore smelter yet, so that's no good. Uh, I wanted to craft those guys, the turrets, so we had them done. Uh, servo mo monitor. Oh, I guess this is a server monitor. This is to monitor uh, things on your server. It probably works in single player too. Uh, I don't, I, I would imagine it wouldn't have a problem working in single player. Uh, I didn't see a warning saying you couldn't use it in single player. So, uh, basically it just tells you different, just basic information. It wasn't even that special if I recalled, but, uh, it was just good information for running your, oh, here it is. It looks like it's fine to run on here. Let's put it right in front of this. In fact, okay, here you go. Server readout, Stone Legion, world up time, one day, 19 hours, zero, zero players connected. Uh, there is 39,000 machines. I don't know exactly what that means, but uh, it gives you the idea. It's using like less than 5% load. Uh, 47 active mobs, 49 active mobs, 0.1% load. Server transmission progress, segments left to send. Uh, we're doing 36 bars, 24 ores. And 200 and, well, basically 300 power a minute we're using. Uh, not game item allows you to monitor server. Allows you to give readouts about permissions and other fun things. Sorry about your fourth wall. Wait, how many of... Have... I wonder if there's more of them, because it sounds like it gives more information, but I feel like we already got it all, so. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what he means by sorry for your fourth wall, then.
I don't even know if these need a... Oh, I guess they don't even need power. For some reason I thought they might have needed power, but I guess they don't. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that it means then. But it doesn't seem to give much more information than what it does, which is okay information anyways, but there you go. Can you see it? Okay, so that's where it is. Cool. I like that. Still, it's information, right? So it's always useful. Uh, we'll get rid of the second one for now, because uh, I don't see a point with that. Let's just double check to make sure there's nothing we're missing, because we, we, we tend to do that. Gives you Rito, uh, not game item. This material does not block movement. Uh, sorry about your fourth wall. Uh, I should ask about this. Um, I'm going to ask, what does this mean? There you go. <laughs> Anyways, uh, scrolling through this. Oh, threat reducer and threat uh, agitator. That's what these were. This is what I built before a long time ago. Uh, reduce space threat, use for blah, blah, blah. I think if you're doing your special quote unquote things, these uh, screw it up. But basically, when you build one of these, they will piss them off. So they cr create more threat. If you hover over here, you basically have 306 threat. If you place this down, this will start eating up a lot of power, but it'll also, each one increases threat by 10% and adds five mobs per wave. So it's a huge amount of change right off the bat. Now, unfortunately, I can't really increase it much because, uh, well, it's going to drain all the power we have. I guess we could throw it on top of here for a minute, but it requires a lot of power. So it's more of a later on game thing, but there you go. Agitator threat plus 34 plus five mobs. Uh, so there you go. Basically, it pisses them off more, and uh, that's pretty cool, but it will use quite a bit of power in the process, of course. So so that that's a cool feature. And the other one is the opposite, basically. It cools things down. It makes, you know, m less threat. It's for people who are just not really into dealing with them all the time or just doesn't just doesn't want to be part of that. Uh, as far as I know, uh, early game... Uh, or sorry, I shouldn't say early game. Uh, easy game, the one we're playing, has no effect on uh, what we do, basically, if uh, we, we lose our base or not. But if you're playing like on a, one of the higher modes, uh, losing your base could be a problem. So I assume that the you know threat reducer might be something you would use to protect your base a bit more so you don't have issues like that. We got the transport pipes, which requires uh, the crystal deposits. We did the we looked at heart of machines I think at one point I'm not sure, uh, but yeah I think we've gotten quite a bit of things in here. I might go down and try to get the crystal stuff though I don't know if miner I think miners act up too in the cold so I'm not even sure I might just grab them by hand for now since we have kind of a base halfway I might put some energy cells there uh, might take another uh, Arthur docking station. And then uh, that's actually not a bad idea. And then just create like a mini base halfway down there. Uh, so I have it whenever I need. And that'll help a bit. By the way, I have no clue where our robot is. He he went crazy in the way. I wish the uh, little center thing maybe pointed us to him. But yeah, whatever. Anyways, guys and girls, uh, till next time. Basically, I have a lot on my table I'll have to do. Uh, I will have to basically expand this sort of system wherever I do it. Maybe I'll do it over here. It doesn't matter. But I'm going to have to expand the production of some of the science pods so we can work on more science. And then I'm going to start just picking random science, basically. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it is. It's just going to be, you know, just we're starting to research it. So we have things researched and more for us to do. And then we'll continue from there. So thank you guys and girls so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like. And we'll see wonderful people next time. And there's the bot. Nice. Have a good day. Bye-bye.